Brett LeBlanc. They cut it out last week, finished fifth, 58. But when they are, get a good covered up trip, uh, they can really race well like she did uh, two starts back in 57 and three. I can see her uh, grabbing the Shoto in here from this inside draw as the Philly Mares roll up in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. It's post time for the 12th. Up to Vance Cameron for the call. Thinking of you, babe. I'll tell me, Ma, Maggie's Delight, Lorne Valley Barb. Top of Angelina, Freedom Delight, top of the stretch. Here they come. Rough and pacing, Maggie's Delight is leaving between horses, I'll tell me ma, and at the rail, that is thinking of you, babe, as they make their way into the turn, Lorne Valley Barb got away fourth, then in fifth, over to the eighth pole is Topville Angelina, the early trailer, Freedom Delight, as they move to the backstretch, for the first time, they're on route to the opening quarter mile, Maggie's Delight and Corey McPherson, they'll be quarter pole leading tonight. Two-hole ride belongs to thinking of you, babe, at the rail third. I'll tell me, Ma, racing from fourth. That is Lorne Valley Bar. Fifth one around the turn, Topville Angelina. Then the trailer six, Freedom Delight, 28 and four was the opening quarter. Still no movement. They're in straight alignment coming off the turn and straightening down the stretch with the half mile in their sights. Led there by Maggie's Delight. Racing second is thinking of you, babe. Continuing third, that's all. Tell me, Ma. Fourth, Lorne Valley Barb with Top Phil Angelina, Freedom Delight. No one, and I mean no one, can find the right line in here. Opening half mile went 58 and three. Still straight alignment down to three eighths of a mile to go. Maggie's Delight having her own way up front. Thinking of you, babe. Now is coming to the outside. Third at the rail. I'll tell me, Ma. Then fourth. That's Lorne Valley Barb, and the outside fifth is Top Hill Angelina, trailing the field. Freedom's Delight, they go by three quarters. New leader on the outside, thinking of you, babe, is taking over. Maggie's Delight now second. I'll tell me, Ma, they're third. Three quarters went, 128 and two. Now they're headed on home, thinking of you, babe, the leader. I'll tell me, Ma, way wide, top hill, Angelina, closing in late on the wire next. Thinking of you, babe, top hill, Angelina, may have tripled up. Barrio, it's picture time, 157, 2. Well, I didn't see this coming uh, with the five top fill Angelina. She usually likes it on the front end, and I've never, or I don't think I've seen her win too many races from off the pace, but I think she times it perfectly here and gets it done for Barrio. He's having quite a night, uh, and he, I think, gets it done here on the line. Top fill Angelina off the early pace, set up by Maggie's Delight. In here, 28-4, 58-3, 128-2. That's when Campbell pulled pocket with thinking of you, babe. Looked like they were going to get the job done, but landing on the scene late is the five top fill Angelina and Barrio. And yeah, it is posted. The five does get there on the end over the one thinking of you, babe. And the two, I'll tell Mima at long odds for Brett LeBlanc does get the show dough. Uh, big ticket coming up here in the 12th.
Topville, Angelina does land on the wire first, and she's at the winner's circle. Bay Pacing Mary by American Ideal off the Cam Luck Dam, a feisty affair. Owned by Jody Lynn Matheson, Stefan Boudreau, and Cheryl Smallman, bred by Robert Hamather of Exeter, Ontario. Trainer Ronnie Matheson, driver Joe Barrios, third winner. He's got the triple, 157 and two. The time for the mile, Topville Angelina shocks the 12th. 